wait on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear to my cry, for my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh into the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath no strength, free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me. Thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. Mine eye mourneth by reason of, of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou shew wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave, or thy faithfulness and destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer prevent thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer that thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me. Thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water. They compassed me about together. Lover and friend, hast thou put far from me and mine acquaintance into darkness. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear unto my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with the loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways as to Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, plenteous and mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as we remove our transgressions from us. Like as a father pities his children, the Lord pities them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. For the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children, such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications, in thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smit my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all thy works. I muse on the work of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like them unto that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good, lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' sake, bring, me, bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy cut off my enemies, and destroy all them that 
Afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. state of the holy churches of God and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our Father and Patriarch John, the Honorable Presbyterian, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord President, civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and every city and countryside, and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the preservation of all victims of the recent natural disaster in Syria and Turkey, and for the souls of all who have perished, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation and wrath, Danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. God is the Lord who hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. For give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. God is the Lord who hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Oh, my. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When thou didst taste death in the flesh, O Lord, thou didst check bitter death by the resurrection, and didst make man to prevail over it, restoring victory over the old curse. Wherefore, O supporter and champion of our life, glory to thee. Both thou endeavor and unto, <coughs> Both thou endeavor and unto ages of ages, amen. Verily, Gabriel, overwhelmed by the splendor of thy virginity and the abundant br brilliancy of thy purity, hailed thee, say, O Theotokos, what dutiful praise shall I offer thee, or what shall I call thee? I have overwhelmed with surprise and perplexity, but as I have been commanded, I shall hail thee, rejoice, O full of grace. Because of thine immutable divinity, O Lord, and thy voluntary sufferings, Hades was overwhelmed and moaned within itself, saying, Verily I am in dread and fear of the person of this incorruptible body, for I see the unseen fighting me secretly, and behold those whom I have held shouting, Glory to thy resurrection, O Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us believers speak of divine things, of the secret of thine inscrutable cru crucifixion, of thine ineffable resurrection. For today hath death and Hades been led captive, and the race of man hath been invested with incorruption. Therefore do we cry in gratitude, glory to thy resurrection, O Christ. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Verily, O Theotokos, the comprehensible and boundless, consubstantial with the Father and the Spirit, hast thou held secretly in thy womb. And by the birth giving we have learned to glorify in the world the act of the one and immiscible Trinity. Therefore, with gratitude, we cry to thee, rejoice, O thou art, that art full of grace. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The company of the angels was amazed when they beheld thee numbered among the dead. Yet thyself, O Savior, destroyed the power of death, and with thee raising up Adam and releasing all men from hell. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Wherefore, O women, disciples, do ye mingle sweet-smelling spices with your tears of pity? The radiant angel within the sepulchre cried, cried unto the murmuring women. Behold the grave and understand, for the Savior is risen from the tomb. Art thou, o Lord, teach me thy statutes. And 
counting unto thy tomb. is past. We not but announce unto the apostles the resurrection. Blessed art thou, o Lord, teach me thy statutes. Our bearing women, our God's bearing spices, they drew near thy tomb, oh, Savior. But the angels spake unto Among the dead, in that he is God, he is risen from the grave. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We adore the Father, as also the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, in one essence, crying with the seraphim. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O Lord, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In that thou didst bear the giver of life, a virgin, thou didst redeem Adam from sin, and didst give to each joy in place of sadness. And he who was incarnate of thee, both God and man, has restored to life those who had fallen therefrom. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia. So God, by thy grace, Lord, have mercy. calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. <coughs> Blessed is thy name, and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. To the ointment-bearing women, the brilliant angel of sweet words, startling them, did say, Why seek ye the living one in the grave? He is verily risen, and hath emptied the tombs. Know ye therefore that the changeless one hath changed corruption to incorruption. And say to God, How dreadful are thy works, for thou hast saved mankind. Thou didst verily deliver the captivity of Zion from Babylon, O word. Likewise, <coughs> draw thou me out of suffering into life. They who sow in time and with divine tears shall reap with rejoicing the sheaves of eternal life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. With the Holy Spirit, every gift is good. He doth shine forth together with the Father and the Son, and in him doth all creation live and move. If the Lord buildeth not the house of virtues, then vainly do we labor. But if he defend and protect our lives, none shall prevail against our city. The saints are verily the higher of the fruit of the womb, and they have not ceased to be thy sons in the Spirit, O Christ, and thou art like a father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit hath all holiness and wisdom been observed, for he is the creator of all the essence of creation. Therefore let us worship him, for he is God, and as is the Father and the Word. Happy are they who fear the Lord, for they walk in the way of his commandments, and eat of the fruits of universal life. 
Rejoice with gladness, O chief shepherd, as thou beholdest thy children's children around thy table, offering branches of good deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, all the riches of honor are of the Holy Spirit, and of him, too, is grace and life for all creation. Wherefore, he is to be praised with the Father and the Word. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth, the world also shall be so established that it shall not be moved. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth, the world also shall be so established that it shall not be moved. Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye God in his saints. Praise him in the firm foundation of his power. Let everything worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us beseech the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Wisdom, let us attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. When Jesus rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him as they mourned and wept. But when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they would not believe it. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them as they were walking into the country, and they went back and told the rest, but they did not believe them. Afterward, he appeared to the eleven themselves as they sat at table, and he upbraided them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had risen. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to the whole creation, he who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them. And confirming the word by the signs that attended it. Amen. Let us bow down before the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Thy cross do we adore, O Christ, and thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. <coughs> For thou art our God, and we know none other beside thee. We call upon thy name. O come, all ye faithful, let us adore Christ's holy resurrection. For lo, through the cross is joy come unto all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us sing his resurrection. For in that he endured the cross for us, he hath destroyed death by death. 
Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I had given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Well, 
Exalt the estate of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies through the intercessions of our all Immaculate Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable body, this powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, all laudable apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all the holy apostles, of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, of our fathers among the saints, Athanasius, Cyril, John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myra, and the Sea, Spirit of Prometheus, Nectarius of Patopolis, the Wonder Workers, Nikolai of Zika, who labored in America, innocent evangelizer of Alaska, and enlightener of North America, John the Wonder Worker of Shanghai and San Francisco, and Raphael, the Bishop of Brooklyn. Of the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George the Trophy Bearer, Demetrius the Myrrh Streamer, Theodore the Soldier, Theodore the General, and Minas the Wonder Worker. Of the higher martyrs, Ignatius the God Bearer, of Antioch, Arlampos, and Eltharios, Deacon the Patriarch of Moscow, and Enlightener of North America. Juvenalia of Alimna, and the martyr Peter the Alley. Of the holy, glorious, great women, martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kierke, Fotini, Marina, Prosca, and Irene. Of the holy, glorious, right, victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers who started the ascetic life, Anthony the Great, Seraphim of Seraph, and Hermit of Alaska. Of the holy apostle Andrew, the first called patron of our community of faith. Of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the apostles, Archippus, Philemon, and Opvius of the Seventy, whose memories we celebrate today, and of all the saints, we beseech thee, O most merciful Lord. Hearken unto the petitions of us sinners who make our supplications unto thee and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Yara Burham, Yara Burham, Yara Burham. Kirie Eleison, Kirie Eleison, Kirie Eleison. Hospri pomiloi, hospri pomiloi, hospri pomiloi. Through the mercy and compassions and love for mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. When thou comest, O God, to earth with glory, and all creatures tremble before thee, and the river of fire bloweth before the altar, and the books are opened, and sins revealed, deliver me from, deliver me then from that unquenchable fire, and make me worthy to stand at thy right hand, O righteous judge. O righteous judge. O Lord, supreme in love, as I think upon thy fearful judgment seat in the day of judgment, I tremble and am full of fear. For I am accused by my own conscience. When thou sittest on thy throne and bringest all to trial, none will be able to, then to deny his sins. For the truth will accuse him and terror will constrain him. The flames of Gehenna will roar and the sinners will gnash their teeth. Therefore have mercy upon me before the end and spare me, O righteous judge. O righteous judge. On February 19th in the Holy Orthodox Church, we commemorate the apostles Archippus, Philemon, and Apphius of the Seventy. 
Today we commemorate the second and impartial coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. When the judge of all sitteth to judge the earth, come now, mayest thou judge me worthy of thy voice. It is the Sunday of the last judgment, known also as Meat Fair Sunday, the lesson of which occurs in today's Holy Gospel. Jesus illustrates to us God's ineffable goodness and his great love for mankind. And so lest some who are lazy should loiter and spend the time appropriate to their salvation in the pursuit of sin and suddenly be overtaken by death, the Divine Fathers decree that on this day the remembrance of the second appearance of Christ may be celebrated. The intention is to remind them, as God is good and loving to mankind, he is also a very righteous judge who recompenses each according to his deeds. Our Lord teaches us that when we minister to our brother or sister, we really minister to him. This brings us righteousness and life eternal. By thine ineffable love for mankind, O Christ God, make us worthy of thy devoted voice, number us among thy righteous ones, and have mercy upon us. Amen. A help and a refuge has salvation become to me. This is my God, therefore will I glorify him. The God of my fathers, therefore will I exalt him. For in glory hath he been glorified. Magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption bearest God the word, and art truly Theodotos, we magnify thee. Pray for God of the Lord, and of his handmaid. 
For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption bearest God the word, and art truly theotokos, we magnify thee. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the empty with good things, and the rich hath he sent empty away. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption bearest God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. All the powers of heaven praise thee, and unto thee do they ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
I tremble so considering the hour of searching inquiry and of the terrible coming of the benevolent master. And being downcast, I cry out, do thou, O most righteous judge and only great merciful, kindly receive me, repenting. Through thy more pure mother's entreaty,
sitting on the stone, spake to them, saying, O oh, I seek ye the living among the dead. Verily he hath trodden down death and is risen, because he is God, granting to all great mercy. Praise him upon the loud cymbals, praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. I picture that day and that hour when we shall stand naked and condemned before the last judge. Then the trumpet shall blow with great shouting, and the foundations of the earth shall shake, and the dead shall rise from their graves, and all become of one stature, and the secret thoughts of all stand revealed before thee. And they who repented not in their lifetime shall wail and mourn, and shall proceed to the nethermost fire. But the righteous shall enter the heavenly chamber with joy and rejoicing. Arise, O oh my God, lift up thine hand, and forget not the humble. What a terrible hour, and what fearful day, when the judge sitteth on the terrible throne, and the book shall be opened, and deeds rebuked, and the secret things of darkness revealed. And the angels go out to gather all the nations. Come and hear, ye kings and princes, ye slaves and free, sinners and righteous, the rich and the poor. For he that is about to judge the whole universe shall come. Who then shall be able to stand before his face when the angels shall rise, from be rise before him, reproaching the deeds, thoughts, and opinions that came forth in the night and in the day?
blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Patriarch John, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, its president, civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and every city and countryside, and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Preservation of all victims of the recent natural disaster in Syria and Turkey, and for the souls of all who have perished, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other, and all our life unto Christ our God. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. So God, by thy grace, Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Son of God, who art risen 
from the dead. Save us who sing unto thee. Alleluia. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, save us who sing unto thee. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, Save us who sing unto thee, Alleluia. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. O only begotten Son and Word of God, who art immortal yet did stain for our salvation, to be incarnate of the Holy Theotokos, change became man, and was crucified also, O Christ our God, and by thy death did death subdue, who art one of the holy trinity, glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit. us have mercy on us and keep us O God by thy grace Lord have mercy calling to remembrance our all holy immaculate most blessed and glorious lady the Theotokos and ever virgin Mary with all the saints let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God to God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Trample down death by death and become. 
and the river of fire floweth before the altar. And the books are opened and sins revealed. Deliver me then from that unquenchable fire and make me worthy to stand at thy right hand, O righteous judge. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For holy art thou, O our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of
the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. Let us attend. The Lord said, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations, and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep at his right hand, but the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, O blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see thee hungry, and feed thee, or thirsty, and give thee drink? And when did we see thee a stranger, and welcome thee? or naked and clothe thee? And when did we see thee sick or in prison and visit thee? And the king will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my <coughs> brethren, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me no food, I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they will answer, Lord, when did we see thee hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister to thee? Then he will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it not to one of the least of these, you did it not to me. And they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life.
It's going to be unpleasant for us and where we don't feel welcome. You know, we have those situations in our life where we don't have a choice sometimes where we might feel uncomfortable, say at work or at school. But when we go home, we don't want to be uncomfortable in our home. We expect our home to provide us with these basic necessities. You know, that we have a shelter, that we have clothes, that we have food, that we have something to drink, that we have uh, protection from the outside world. And that is why it is always you know, nice for us to go home. And in today's gospel, we hear that we have a home prepared for us. Our Lord says that when he comes to judge the world, that there is a place prepared in the kingdom of heaven that is intended for you to dwell in. It's intended for you to be there. So that's the intention. Now, there's another part, obviously, to this gospel, in which we hear about another place that we don't want to go to, this lake of fire. And we have to, first of all, understand that, yes, that sounds very unpleasant, doesn't it? Kingdom of heaven, lake of fire. <laughs> Seems pretty self-explanatory, but it's even worse than that to go to this lake of fire because that's not where you're intended to go. Right? He doesn't say, I built this dwelling place before the foundation of the world in the kingdom of heaven for you. And I also built this other place for you in case things don't work out, in case you mess up. No, that other place is not even intended for you. That other place is set aside for the devil and his cohorts. So that calls us to mind to say, why are we doing the things that are not preparing us to go to the place where we belong? Or why are we not doing the things that prepare us to get to the place where we belong? Today's gospel very much tells us about the things that we need to be doing, doesn't it? It tells us that we have to be looking out for and caring first and foremost for our brothers and sisters in Christ. You know, when our Lord says, if you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it unto me. Right? My brethren is key. First and foremost, in the community of the life of the church, our brothers and sisters in Christ have needs. Some of them might not be as noticeable as no clothes, no food, no shelter, in prison. But we do even have people that have those needs in our community. So we have to be paying attention to this. We have to take this time now that's set up for us as we enter Great and Holy Lent to realize that we are going to be held accountable for how well we take care of others. That's not just people in the church, but people outside of the church as well, people that we encounter, people that have needs. It is not that difficult. I think sometimes we make it more difficult on ourselves to think, well, where are these people that have needs? Well, first and foremost, we should pray about it because God will show you the people that have needs. God will bring those people into your life and you need to be ready to receive and to act, to try to help in whatever way you can. No, we are not judged 
just by our results. Did we fix everything? Did we fix every impoverished person we encountered? Did we fix their situation? Did we make their life completely better? No, we're not judged that way, but we're judged by our receptivity to them, by our willingness to love them. And we are going to be expected to be held account to account for our actions. So that is the other part of today, that we realize that, yes, there will be a judgment. A judge is coming. This is why we have him up in the dome here, right? To remind us of this. The book, he has his book ready to open to see what is in there, to see what the account is of our deeds, to hold us accountable for it. So that is the reality that we are facing. When is he coming? We don't know, but we just heard he's coming. So do we want to act in a way that says, I don't think he's coming too soon. I don't think he's gonna get here, you know, in the next couple weeks, the next couple months, the next couple years. Do we really want to act that way? I don't think so because we have that other part of it too, don't we? Not only do we not know when he's coming back, we don't know when we're leaving, do we? So that calls us to mind, calls our attention, tells us it's time to start to act. So we act, as I said, with prayer first. We ask God, show us what we need to do. Show us those who are in need. Second, we have to be ready to give. Sometimes that means we have to give from our own resources. Maybe somebody needs some of our food. Maybe somebody needs some of our clothes. Maybe somebody needs some of our money. So we are prepared to do this to share with others the love of Christ. To share with others that our same God didn't just make a place for us in the kingdom of heaven, but he made a place for them as well. Amen. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom that guarded always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts now set forth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and those with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and in good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, o Lord. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with thy spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is sweet and right to worship God. begotten Son, and to thy Holy Spirit, for all things of which we know and of which we know not, and for all the benefits bestowed upon us, both manifest and unseen. And we give thanks unto thee also for this liturgy, which thou dost vouchsafe to receive at our hands, even though there stand beside thee thousands of archangels and ten thousands of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft, borne on their wings, singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord of Sabbath, of heaven and earth are full of thy glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. With these blessed powers, we also will master who loves mankind, for I love God's life and heart. My blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Oh. Heavenly remembrance, therefore, the same of the of all sins which have passed for us to cross the grave for the resurrection, the ascension, the heavens, and the very end, the second and glorious coming. Thine own of thine own, <laughs> we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. Again, we offer unto thee this rational and bloodless worship, and beseech thee, and pray thee, and supplicate thee. Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us, and upon these gifts here spread forth, and make this bread the precious body of thy Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of thy Christ. Amen. Changing them by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That to those who shall partake thereof, they may be unto vigilance of soul, to remission of sins, unto the communion of thy Holy Spirit, unto fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, and unto boldness to indeed, unto judgment, and unto condemnation. And again, we offer to thee this rational worship of all those who faith and all make forced to thy worship. For our fathers, mothers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, brothers, confessors, and ascetics, and the righteous spirit.
John the first be mindful, Lord of our Father and Patriarch John, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches <coughs> in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. And of all mankind. Be mindful, Lord, of those who travel by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and their salvation. Be mindful, Lord, of those who bear fruit and do good works in thy holy churches, and to remember the poor, and upon us all send forth thy mercies. And grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with thy spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts which have been spread forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having received them upon his holy, most heavenly, and ideal altar, as an aroma of spiritual sweetness, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and a gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life. Unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. And God say, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. O King Invisible, who by thy boundless power has made all things, and in the multitude of thy mercy has brought all things from nothingness into being. Do thou thyself, O Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads unto thee. For they have not bowed down unto flesh and blood, but to thee, the fearful God. Therefore, O Master, do thou thyself distribute these gifts here spread forth unto all of us for good, according to the individual need of each. Voyage with those who sail by sea, journey with those who travel by land and air. Heal the sick, thou who art the physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassions and love toward mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life, giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. attend the holy things are for the holy one is holy one is Lord Jesus Christ to the
God save thy people and bless thy inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided. Safe this day to feed us with thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, establish us all in thy fear. Guard our life, make firm our steps. Through the prayers and intercessions of glorious Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, and of all thy saints. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. those who bless thee and sanctifies those who put their trust in thee. Save thy people and bless thy inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them and recompense by thy divine power. And forsake us not or hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to the civil authorities, to the armed forces, to all thy people. For all good giving every perfect gift is from above and comes down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee be ascribed glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, of now and to the ages. Blessed is the name of the Lord, of now and
you, through his divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our God and our hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. <coughs> May he who rose from the dead for our salvation, Christ our true God, for the intercessions of Zal Mac and Earl, blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and baptist, John of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, those divine liturgy we've now celebrated, of the holy glorious and victorious martyrs of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of the holy apostle Andrew, the first call patron of our community of faith, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the apostles, Archippus, Philemon, and Ophios of the Seventy, whose memories we celebrate this day, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us for as much as he is good and loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. At this time of dismissing the Sunday school, please come forward.
hoping to meet you if you are a visitor uh, with us. Also today, at about 12.15, the women are meeting with a special speaker uh, named Kay Trottles, who is from Mary's Shelter in Alberta, Alabama. So we just heard today about taking care of the least of these. This is a shelter that helps to take care of women that want to uh, give birth and to uh, bring life into the world but may not have the means and she will be speaking about this, uh, about how they deal with uh, these women who have uh, unwanted or unexpected pregnancies and yet still uh, want to do the right thing and bring life into the world. This week we are having Vespers on Wednesday and I'm having a class about Lent. Anyone can come, unless you know everything about Lent already, uh, which you might, um, but this will give an overview for the Lenten season, things that we do, themes that are here, and uh, perhaps some insight into what we can be doing during Lent. On Sunday, as I mentioned, it is Forgiveness Sunday, so our coffee hour will be sponsored by the women. Uh, we will have a luncheon, saying goodbye to all our beloved dairy products, but then we will be uh, coming right back into the church for Forgiveness Vespers. This is how we start Great and Holy Lent, people. Not, you know, this week Lent started at the Western Church, and they do things a little differently than we do. We begin by asking one another's forgiveness. It's very important, so I hope to see you there. Plan to stay a little longer. We, we will be done all of it by, by 1, 1 30 at the latest. So it's not like I'm asking for your whole day. Uh, please uh, look at your calendar and consider this. And then the next week after that, please look at the calendar because there is church every night. Uh, for the first week of Vespers, um, our first week of Lent, leading up to forget, um, Sunday of Orthodoxy Vespers that we are hosting here on March 5. So for the first time, we are getting together with our uh, sister churches in the area and clergy, and uh, we look forward to that. At this time, please come forward and receive the Holy Bread, and God's blessings be with you. Of the Apostolic Heart. Of the Apostolic Heart.